Now we are going to talk about purchase order reports. So the first reports that we are going to talk about is ME2W. So this is purchase order for supplying plant. So you go to this transaction, we double click, okay, and here you can put supplying plant, you can put purchase organization and other stuffs. So here what we are going to do, we'll just execute, okay. Once we execute, so it will display this list, okay. So here, if you see, if you double click on it, this will take you to the purchase order. So here you can see the purchase order. So this is the purchase order and it's based on the plant, supplying plants, okay. So here, if you want to add new fields, there would be some fields here. Nothing is hidden. It's all there. So here, if you scroll to the right, there are lots of other fields that you can bring. So suppose you want to bring some fields here in the front, okay. So what you can say, suppose you want to see the the suppose the deletion indicator or the materials okay so suppose you want to see the material before this purchase organization and you click on this now you can see if you scroll to the here you have all the materials okay so now if you notice now if i double click on this po you can see this is the po this is the vendor and if i go here these are the different tabs here you have the payment terms and here you have different conditions okay this is the pricing condition on the header site okay then you have the text headed text you can mention headed text here you have different address delivery address for which the purchase order where it will be delivered and other stuffs then you have the communication key where you can mention the communication this is important partner here this is this is the ordering address as this is the paying address okay so these are all important stuff then you have the org data which which contains the purchase organization the purchasing group and the company code okay and then you have the status field which tells you how many ordered how many delivered and all those things then you have inco terms inco terms is something that is very much that comes from the vendor master and it's it tells you what are the different freight terms okay freight means whether the whether the stuff you are buying what will be the shipping method okay like it would be truck what type of truck it is whether it's an uber freight or something else okay this is something that is brand new flexible workflow it's only available in s4 hana and then you have this custom fields now if this po had release strategy then you would have a release strategy tab also extra okay now here this is the so if you want to see here you can find from here the header changes it will tell you what are the changes that is done in the header which doesn't show anything because there has not been any changes you can see the item changes but for that you have to highlight this item and then you have to see okay once you see these are the item changes and it tells us the user id who changed it okay so this curve this this tells you now here if you see here if you double click on suppose the material it takes you to mm03 which is very nice you know it takes you to the purchase organization plan 1010 and this is the material number okay so it's pretty useful and then suppose if you want to double click on what else it takes you it doesn't take you here this is the release documentation here you can see the further things this is the invoice and this is the this is the goods receipt from here you can see a lot of stuff which is very very nice and here if you double click it will take you to the bp transaction it basically calls mk03 but it did re gets redirected to bp with that so this is pretty useful and then let's scroll to the right what more fields are available okay so here you can see what plant it is for so this is the plant the plant will not double click anything let's see if there is any other double click functionality that is there so it tells you more or less everything so this is the info record probably if i double click on the info record it will take me to the info record where the price is there okay so if i double click so here if you see it has the 
info records associated with the with the and here you have the taxes the net so here is tax tax restriction very much important for every com uh, countries because you know if you don't pay in taxes you get in trouble so the other fields are not populated so this 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 transaction like suppose if you have a vendor that is not created so if you see this vendor has not been created for this uh, purchase organization then it gives an error message now if i double click on this i want to see something here this this po history is really nice here you can see if you scroll if you click on this this is the goods receipt number okay so this will take me probably to Migo, and uh, yeah, it takes me to Migo uh, from here and here from, and this is a line level details. And here it takes me to the goods receipt, to the invoice. Okay, so this is pretty useful and you can see all these things here. So this is, so this tells, so here another thing that I'll show here, if you notice, the plant is 1010. Okay, there is any other information other than 1010? So I'll just put not equal to. Okay, so I just want to make sure there is other plants also. Okay, so here, suppose in this place, where is the plant? Here, 1710. Okay, is the plant. So if I do function F1, I'll show you a trick here. Okay, we'll use parameter ID. So here, if you see WRK is the parameter ID. So here, what will happen is, I'll show you something. Suppose you have a, you 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 want to run this uh, this report only for certain plants. Okay, and only for one plant. Okay, so here you see 1010, 10, but you want to run for only 1710. Okay, so what you can do is you go to this transaction SU3, and you populate. The parameter ID W R K and you put 1710. Okay, and now I'll save it. And here now I'll execute. So by default, see 1710 gets populated. So I so in this way you don't have to type this number. So this is very useful. Each field of this type of have have a parameter ID ideally SP and you can utilize so now if you put multiple so let's see if you put multiple so here we will put su3 and you can put multiple also so let me see i'll just put not equal to and i want to see there's some other plants there so here we have other plants yeah so here we can see uh so you can put other things like 10 10 okay comma 10 10 and so if i put save in and i put like this and now suppose i go hit the back button and here so it will pick up the first one so this is pretty useful okay so that covers uh, on this purchase order by supplier plant